Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here with my first Halloween tutorial. I'm sorry it has taken me so long. I'm creating this glam pumpkin makeup look today. So I'm first of all priming my face with a couple of primers. Just use any primers that work well for your skin type and just apply that all over your face to act as a base for all of the makeup. Because the top half of my face is going to be sort of my every glam, or not every day, but um, like a just a glam, a dramatic look, sorry that was really um, awkward, <laughs> a really glam dramatic look, I'm going in with some of bold eyebrows and I'm just using the regular brow products that I would originally use and I'm sculpting them out to make them extra defined and beautiful. Like we primed our face, I'm now going on and priming my eyelids. It's just going to help all of the eyeshadows products stay on the eyes and keep them from creasing throughout the night. And then I'm going in with a soft peach tone shade. So it's just a warmer tone than my skin colour. I'm then going in with a bronzy orange and just buffing this into my crease. It's a transitional shade. I'm then taking a sparkly highlight colour. This is a little bit dark, um, which originally what I was planning so I did then go over it with a light highlight color as well just to lighten that up and create that brow bone highlight but I wanted to keep everything quite warm on the eye and then taking a gorgeous copper pigment um, and just applying this on the eyelid obviously you can do any eye makeup look with this this is just my look that I wanted to create I wanted it very dramatic and I wanted to incorporate the same colors all over the face and then taking a deeper warm orange and I'm just buffing this into the crease to buff out that pigment and just create a very um, smooth eye with no harsh lines or edges. I'm going back in with the pigment, back in with blending and then I'm just wiping off any fallout that I may have. I'm then taking the dark brown shade and I'm just going to be applying this on my inner and also outer corner of my eye just to create a sort of halo eye. I'm also dragging that colour out and just winging it out to create a really elongated look to the eye and of course I'm just making sure that everything is blended. Obviously with all of these products you can use what products you have and any colour tone that you want to go. Um, but yeah, so I'm just giving you like the description so you know what sort of shades to use. But yeah, you don't need these exact same products. After I have applied a lighter pigment to my eye to bring just a little bit more definition, I'm going in with some black eyeliner and first, first of all aligning my waterline and then just smudging that out and starting to create that wing at the corner. And then I'm going in with a nice black gel liner and I'm just creating a really bold dramatic winged liner look today. I'm going to go in with a black eyeshadow now and I'm just going to set all of those eyeliner products that we've just used. I'm also taking this black up into the crease to create a really dramatic um, smoky cut crease look just to add a little bit more drama to this makeup but like I said we are also setting that eyeliner in place just to make sure it lasts all night and it stays nice and black. Of course, this glam eye makeup will not be complete without some lovely big false eyelashes. So I'm just going to coat them with a couple of coats of clear lash adhesive and then apply them onto my eyes. Moving on to my face, I'm starting off with my foundation as we've already primed our skin earlier. And I'm just going to pat that in to my skin using a sort of medium to full coverage foundation as I want fairly flawless skin for this look. And then I will also blend it into my skin using a beauty blender just to make sure there are no brush strokes or any unblended areas.
Again, to make my skin nice and flawless, I'm going in with a very full coverage concealer and I'm just going to apply this underneath my eyes and also on any areas that I may have some redness or discoloration and also down the centre of my face to highlight. Again, I'm blending that all into my skin using a beauty blender. I'm going to set all of my highlighted areas with a light highlight full coverage foundation powder and I'm just literally stippling and pressing this onto the areas that I want to highlight and bring forward so underneath my eyes especially and also down the centre of my face and on the tops of my cheekbones. I'm then taking my skin toned full coverage foundation powder and I'm just going to be setting the rest of my face using this colour. So this is the colour that matches my skin, not the highlighted shade. So as you can see I've just applied that, I've also highlighted the centre of my face and then I'm going in with a cool toned contour powder and just chiselling out the areas that I want to shrink or diminish. I'm then just taking some of that bronzer colour that we applied on our eyes as our transition colour onto my face just to warm up my cheeks. I'm then applying a nice warm toned blush to the apples of my cheeks and I will also apply some nice bright highlighter on my cheekbones and any areas that I want to emphasise. Also applying this highlight in the corner of my eyes just to really highlight those. I'm then just cutting my lashes to make sure that the falsies and my natural lashes are as close together as possible and then I'm just going to apply a few coats of black mascara. Okay, so if you just wanted a dramatic look for Halloween, then you can completely leave this makeup here and then just pair it with a nice bold orange lip or a black lip or any lip colour that you choose. Um, and then you don't have to do the next part. But if you want to do the glam pumpkin, I am now going to show you how I created the mouth. So as you can see, the first product I used was a white um, pencil. This is just going to be really easy to get rid of any mistakes. Just wipe it and blend it into your skin rather than going straight in with a black. So as you can see, I've just marked out where I want the smile to go up to and then I'm just creating the design that I want. So I'm just creating like little cutouts um, all along and just creating where the mouth. And if you do make any mistakes, this is just so easy to wipe out. But this is what I have so far. I'm now going in with the black eyeshadow and I'm literally just going over those white lines and just crisping it out so I can see where my mouth design is going to go. I'm also going to extend my mouth later on when I go in with some other colours. Now that I've marked out my mouth, I'm just going to be warming up my neck and underneath because I want that to be nice and orange. I go in with the bronzer first and then I'm going in with some pigments just to create that nice orangey pumpkin. Um, look to my chin it kind of looks like I've got a beard and Luke was playing around with um, our washing basket <laughs> and then also taking that light pigment as well and just creating some highlights because you know how like pumpkins have stripes kind of create that I'm now going in with a black gel liner but you can use a black face paint and as you can see I've extended that smile line pretty much all the way up to my ear. I'm now just going over all of that black eyeshadow template and I will also be filling in the entire mouth with this eyeliner as well. Back to that black eyeshadow, I'm now going to be setting the entire mouth just to make sure that it lasts all day and also it gives it a much more even coverage and makes it completely black. I'm also going to be smoking along the edges just to create more of a softer cut. Um, a lot of the time if you see a pumpkin they are obviously quite sharp and defined but I thought if it's like a pumpkin that's been lit already you get that sort of burn around the edges so I was just given that sort of vibe by smoking it out. 
well. I'm also creating some lines down the pumpkin which is connected to my eye so I'm just using my eyeliner and dotting it along. But here is the completed glam pumpkin makeup look. It's my first Halloween look. I'm so sorry it's taken me so long to get up for you. Thank you so much for watching as always and I will see you all in my next tutorial.